Hello guys, this is Daryl Whitman with Destination WVF TV, and as always, thank you for watching. A cruise ship guest, 21-year-old James A. Darling, has been arrested and charged with vehicular manslaughter following an ATV accident while visiting Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas. Let's talk about it. A $40,000 cash bail has been set. But at this time, Darling remains in the Bahamas. The tragic incident occurred on Sunday, October 20th, 2024. According to a GoFundMe fundraiser arranged by Darling's family, James and three friends departed on a carnival cruise on October 19th for a much anticipated boys getaway. The next day, while the ship was in Nassau, Darling was driving an ATV, though the family's description calls it a UTV, with a friend, James Palmer, as a passenger. The vehicle rolled onto its side and ultimately landed on Palmer's neck, causing his death. Both ATVs and UTVs are off-road recreational vehicles. The biggest difference between them are that ATVs have bike-like seats, while UTVs have more traditional car-like seats. ATVs do not have seat belts, but UTVs do. Both types of vehicles are able to be rented in Nassau. According to the Tribune, authorities claim that Darling was driving the vehicle in a dangerous manner when the accident occurred. No further details on road conditions, speed, or other factors have been released at this time. The incident occurred on Arawak K Road shortly after 11 a.m. Arawak K is located just 1.5 miles from the cruise terminal. It is not clear whether or not Darling and his friends were on a shore tour purchase through the cruise line. Many cruise lines, including Carnival, do offer ATV and UTV tour experiences at different destinations, but travelers can also arrange such tours independently. In Nassau, Carnival Cruise Line does not list any ATV tours available on its website, but individual tour offers can vary on different dates. While Darling's family does say the men were on a carnival cruise, the exact ship is not named. On October 20th, when the incident occurred, two carnival ships were in Nassau, Carnival Sunrise and Carnival Conquest. Carnival Sunrise departed Miami on October 19th for a five-night Eastern Caribbean sailing, visiting Nassau, Ambercove, and Grand Turk. Carnival Conquest, on the other hand, also departed Miami, but on October 18th for a three-night Bahamas itinerary, only visiting Nassau. Darling's family is very clear that the men were less than 24 hours into their trip when the accident occurred on October 20th, making it most likely the men were passengers on board Carnival Sunrise. Carnival Cruise Line has not issued any statement nor commented on the incident or the resulting legal case. In addition to the vehicular manslaughter charge, Darling was also charged with possession of dangerous drugs for carrying 9 grams, roughly one-third of an ounce, of marijuana, valued at about $45. He did plead guilty to the drug possession charge and accepted probation. The involuntary manslaughter charge will now move to the Supreme Court with a voluntary bill of indictment. The next move in the case is planned for March 20th, 2025. Well, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing with us before you go. We'd love to have you as part of our growing family. When subscribing, remember to hit that notification bell too. Thank you, goodbye, and God bless. This is Daryl Whitman. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of Destination WVF TV.